about a hundred people that came in for a group. We're able to give them a little sneak peek of the horse in his boy. New city, same reactions to the puppets. All right, we just had an amazing time here with about a hundred people that came in for a group that's uh, touring through the Museum of the Bible. We're able to give them a little sneak peek of the horse and his boy, show them a little scene, and get to share a lot of amazing things about what we're doing here for the Academy of Arts and Logos Theater. It is a lot on the performers to get everything ready, but it's also super cool to see the public's reaction to what we're putting together. Washington, D.C. is excited about the horse and his boy. We're still continuing prepping for our uh, performance to start on January 20th. As a director, you have to make sure that your brain kind of is on overdrive, thinking at 200% on all the different aspects of the production. The costumes, the sets, the props, how all that's working together. Oh, darling, how perfectly thrilling! Can you go back to the other lighting real quick? With the Twitter, um, you were redoing the two sides of the curtain. You're just trying to get no light in the top. When light is shining from the inside, you can see inside the litter, and when light is shining on the outside, it looks like it is a solid piece of fabric. A day and a half, two days, is what we had total to work on it. I'm also playing, I think, six different characters within the play. The difficulty was having the time to knock out these projects while filming in rehearsal. We had a number of the students that are up here with us that helped out with that and worked on it when we couldn't. And then, like, just having Kayla come up uh, for opening weekend and actually run the props during the show. We're a team. If one group goes down, you're helping out that group and trying to make sure we all finish the finish line together. It was a lot of work. I'm pretty pleased with the results of it. It's, I don't think it's looked any better. So we are about to do our first full costume and makeup run through. There might be some press out there watching, some marketing people. It sounds like we're going out there now. We can't wait. Central and Ford now. Uh, not perfect at all, but um, really good for being our first run through with full costumes and makeup and everything. Now, those of you who are not used to being in Logos shows of this magnitude, a little bit of shell shock last night, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw it on your faces. <laughs> Some of you guys were like, oh, and hey, it was, you kept going though. You pushed through and you didn't stop. The pressure's mounting on you because you're always working against the clock, against time, or time's working against you. So um, you really have to have a team that is willing for you to do your job, which is put that pressure on. Oh, but no, this. But no, yes, I will never consist until I have trapped in my promise. Harrison Winkley is a new cast member. Here he's taking on the role of Rabidash. Never having done a full-scale uh, production with us, you know, you never know how people are going to respond to you really pushing them to a level that you know they can hit, but maybe they don't know they can hit. The Belfairy is clean! The culture of dogs! Oh, no, no! Run, run, run. Harrison! Don't stop until you see the king! But what's about Harrison in the whole thing? It's not like... What about Erebus and the horses? It's like, but what about Erebus and the horses? I'm doing a very unique thing in, in directing my own son. Um, you know, I love that the Academy of Arts gives opportunities to everyone, and that includes the staff children. If they audition and get a role, and they're the best for the role, then we'll put them in there, but it doesn't mean we're not going to push them. You will do this, and it's going to be awesome, one step at a time. Man, watching the pressure mounting, and then him taking it was incredible to watch. I must be the most unlucky boy that ever lived in the whole world. All right, so this is our last run through before we start. We're just kind of pushing through the second half. So we've got to push really fast because the play is in less than seven hours. And we are getting ready to set up for a special VIP experience for some special guests that are coming in for opening weekend. And I'm here specifically to bring from the Living Like Lucy ministry some of the stuff that was used in the Narnia films. Just thinking about the audience coming out and everyone filling those seats, I'm just a new level of excitement for opening weekend and actually performing today. So here we go. So I think across the board, opening weekend was just phenomenal. I mean, packed out house. The energy in the room was seriously palpable. I think even though we've got, you know, another 
let's say almost 30 shows left to do here in the museum, we know and we're getting a real sense from the Lord that this is just the beginning. So we're not just getting master classes on how to do life on stage. We've got a young cast. He's 13 and now he's stepping on to this stage. Kids are getting master classes on how to do life with Jesus.